Hello today guys, Captain Grizz, and I'm going to be doing a video on how to get through the Straits of Gibraltar, okay? I have been have orders to report to La Spezia over in Italy, and the thing is you have to go through the Straits of Gibraltar to get there. Now, the thing is, uh, if you've read about World War II and you've read about U-boats and everything, you'll know that this is probably the most dangerous area in the war for U-boats, okay? The British controlled this area, they had this area locked down with warships, planes, air, it, you name it. So in the war, I think there were about 10 U-boats that were sunk going through here and another nine were damaged. So it's a very, very difficult area. And if you've got orders as a commander or for a crewman on a U-boat going through this and you knew of it, it was, it would be pretty, I don't know, depressing. But uh, there is one captain, I think it made it through both times, only one. And I think also in the movie Das Boot, this is where they get basically sunk and then they land on the ground. You know, they, they hit uh, the dirt, they end up repairing the sub and getting it, turning around and getting out of there. So I'm gonna try and see if I can sneak through here. I have a couple advantages though, where I have a snorkel, which I would say you definitely want to have going through there, okay? That doesn't mean run the diesel engines, it means have the snorkel where you can get oxygen because you'll probably be submerged for a very long period of time. So having a snorkel is a, definitely a kind of a must going through there. It can be done without, but if you want the increased intensity, yeah, do it without it. Um, so I got I got also a bunch of uh, sonar decoys. I have one guy who's got one on him right now. And I have an extra five to because it's so shallow in there, you want to be able to distract those escorts because they will easily find you in there and they will destroy you. So at least have those two things to make this trip a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and move in and you could also wait until night. It's 5.30 in the morning, so I'm going to try and get in position so I can go through there go, starting at night time. So let's start moving into position. I already got a ship here. What do we got here? That's too tempting. Can't believe a ship just popped up while we're just sitting there. Take this opportunity to sink a ship. Let's go ahead and dive to periscope depth. Maybe a couple of them. Let's get you on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. This guy on the hydrophone here. We're going to stop. They're coming this way, so I'm going to stop right about here. Hey, Captain. Well, this is interesting. We're already going to ring for silent running. He's going to the attack scope. Good, it's pretty calm. Really nice seas. See them this way, there they are. I probably wouldn't attack if I was really there because it'd be like I don't want to I wouldn't want to alarm anybody that I'm trying to come through there. Not that they know that I'm really come, trying to come through there because maybe that's what it is. Like, like. Okay, probably like this. Oops, a too high. There we go. This time. At least to get a few 
take out a few ships before we go through there. Oh, the prop noises too. I can, now I could use them as a way of uh, following them in and hiding under them, but they move so slow. I'm just, I'd just rather risk going in there on my own under my own power because going through the street could take a long time. Or not. Probably gonna take it for him. Probably gonna get hit for him. Did they make it. Did they miss go past or they go past. Yeah, he took it for him. Oh, he's blocked Maybe he'll sink down enough to where he's steady. because that was intended for him. Ja, ging daneben, Herr All right, I got one for...
Rohr 3 geladen. Rohr 1 bewässern. Radio Union, we're being attacked. Rohr bewässert. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Los! One after that one? Oh, good. Rohr 1 geladen. Der A ging daneben, Herr Kalloy. Oh, it's not, it's not a miss. Ziel. Go. Another T5 wound up here. Oh, zwei, bewässern. Treffer. Did that knock his engine out? Oh, zwei, fertig. Oh, there. <laughs> Torpedo did hit him. There's another one in the water. Going after his buddy. Look at this guy. Now. There's the torpedo. This guy's still trucking? He is. Alright. Uh, kind of away. I'm gonna split him about six knots. Geladen. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Oh, he's gonna get him. Oh, his engine went off. Maybe he hears this. Oh, he does. Der Aal ging daneben, Herr Kalloy. Yeah. Feindliches Schiff wurde getroffen. Oh, he hit this guy in the back. Yeah, he sank. All right. Well, they've abandoned that one. Alright, so he's straight ahead. Rohr 1, bewässern! Zero knots. A bow. Rohr 1, bewässern! Same set. Knots. Fire. Los! Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. Rohr 1 geladen. 30 Sekunden. 10 Sekunden bis Einschlag. Torpedo. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Do any damage? Yeah, there it goes. All I needed. Well, Liberty's gonna take a pounding, so hopefully I got this thing down. There it goes, into the deep. On the radio. There we go. Alright, so we sink a few boats before we go in there. Still got several props coming through here. Well, let's go ahead and surface for now. Probably be aircraft coming out here. They sent a lot of emergency messages. All these ships are reporting, probably to avoid my avoid my uh, position. Oh, much got sunk over here. Transmitting. Everyone's like, hey, there's subs got attack somebody over here. This is a great hunting ground because a lot of ships are coming in and out of here, so. Okay, I'm gonna try. As close as I can. It's 8 in the morning. It's daytime. And 
if I could time it to where it gets dark about the time I get over there. I'm in the aircraft zone here. But let's go ahead and let's go to periscope depth. Got the snorkel up. And we'll go ahead and take it down. There you go. I'm gonna stay on diesels for now. Okay, it's about two in the evening. Oh, there's an aircraft already. Switch to electric hiders. Let's go ahead and see if we can hide our. There we go. Hide our little smoke there. Hopefully, the aircraft won't see it. Oh, two planes. Oh, look at this. Yep, they don't see me. There they go. Once they get a good ways away, we'll go ahead and turn the diesel back on. Already running in the aircraft. Okay, switch back to diesel. Okay, we're going to turn the diesel off as we get in here because it creates a lot of sound. Those planes were probably coming out searching for me, who's you know, some, some, somebody who sunk those boats. It's about 1600, we're getting close. This is kind of perfect timing. As we get in here, I'm just going to switch to electric because I don't want to draw any attention. These warships can hear you pretty far out, so let's go ahead and switch to electric. I could re recharge it slow if I need to. Oh, look at that. There are already boats nearby. Bet you those could be warships or those could be transports. They're coming out, so I'm not going to go for them because I do not need the extra attention right now. Port them though, so some other U boat waiting outside can take them out. They are. And some heavy, heavy cargo there. Thing is, going into this, it would not be good to just get yourself all create more activity for yourself. So we're gonna let those pass. There it is on the horizon. Maybe an extra ship over there, or something that were to report my position. We do not need that right now. Oh, look, more aircraft. This place is pretty covered with defenses and stuff. So you gotta be you gotta play it smart going through here. Snorkel definitely a must. Okay, it's just, it is you can see I'm still getting air in the boat. Make sure you ping the bottom every now and then, see how far you can, how far down it is, because you don't have much room to dive. So that's why this makes this Gibraltar, Treasure Gibraltar so dangerous. And while we're doing this, recharge the compressor. Copy to you. Well, I'm going to bed. I've got it rigged for silent running. Is the compass turned off? No. Let's go ahead, turn that off. Okay, let's have him go to sleep. Captain, go to sleep. Okay. And go to sleep. Have you on the hydrocarbons? Have you on the engines? Have you on the navigation? Let's go ahead and switch your role into. I can't do it. Alright. Hopefully, we don't lose ourselves here while we're doing this. So, we're on electrics. Oh, no, we're not. We're on diesel. No, we're, no, we're electric's good. Oh, well, that's because we're running the compressor. All right. Compressor's good. We're on batteries as we start to make our way through the straight. Okay, lots of air coverage. We're starting to go there as it gets, as it gets dark. So as you are arriving at the pinch point, you can see it's about starting to get evening. So... This is about a good time to start going through it because if you have an emergency or anything, 
you want to have an emergency while it's dark outside. Okay, it, do everything that gives you the best possible outcome for uh, making it through and surviving. There's, there's no room here. Yep, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of people died going through here. Are those are other U-boats, or they're just warships, patrol ships. Now you run that diesel, they'll hear you from real far out. I'm gonna see if I can run. There's batteries. Let's go slow. It's real slow. Keep it quiet. Charge your batteries. Everything's rigged silent. Let's get you back on navigation before we get lost. Yeah, the captain can stay in his bunk until we really need him. Transports, propeller noises everywhere. This might be another. That looks like maybe the way they're moving. That's a patrol. They probably hear, they're probably already dialing in on us. They probably are. Oh. Well, not really, they're moving really slow, so they may not hear us, but they will hear shortly. Switch to electric. Okay, getting in their cone here. Don't want to give ourselves away. Alright, starting to move through. We are close. Okay. Spacious scoop. Captain, we'll have him on navigation. How thick it's getting over here. Oh, warships. Of course, I just took this guy off. Put you on the hydrophone again. Leave the position, so it's actually go sleep in your bunk. Captain will navigate. It's our depth. Let's see which room we got to dive here. Maybe let the patrol pass. Do a shallow ping, because you do not want to you do the other deep ping, you'll get their attention. So let's go ahead and ping real quick. We have 125. Let's go ahead and give us about a hundred. Uh, 100 meter. Storming out, which is great. Dark. We're diving down, going slow. Don't look like they're on to us. Uh, let's go ahead and stop. Let them pass. Oh. Go ahead and turn that off. You see them all swinging? Well, they, they kind of lost me a little bit. Let's get this guy ready. Ready to go. Actually, go ahead and just drop his decoy. He has one left. Let's get ready to floor it. Captain. While that decoy is going, your depth Wasser charging. By the way, the decoy. Well, that uh, decoy is running. Wasser we need to get as far as possible because right Wasser now they're deaf because of depth charging. They just run like hell. Alright, got 
through that patrol. Doesn't mean they won't come back on me though. Let me check the depth again. Copy ten. Apartment is flooded. How is it flooded? Three meters of water. Well, let's Herr this real quick. With this empty. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Let's go ahead and stop to produce our noise signature. Maybe that decoy is still keeping them busy, so. Clear the bilge. some others. We avoided aircraft, we avoided patrol, and they were locked on. You can see they just locked onto us no matter how quiet we were. Alright, so I need some air in the boat. Let's bring it up to periscope depth. After I turn this off, of course. Off the part was dry. Okay, let's go periscope depth. Snorkel and get some air in the boat. Plus the morale will improve. Still going ahead slow. Um, I haven't lost them yet. Might have a hard time getting any uh, stern to them, so. But they seem to have been attracted by some of the noise, maybe emptying the bilge out. There's another one in this way. They seem to be kind of slow moving though, so. Maybe they haven't quite figured it out. Go ahead, got the air refilled. Let's go ahead and go down about 80 meters. Sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. In der Marine. Okay, good. Down a little bit deeper. 100 Meter. Down deeper. Staying in the center here. It's the deepest part. More destroyers, more escorts, we're getting as deep as we can, staying kind of in the middle part of the of the whole straits, at least the deepest part. So lots of escorts everywhere. given how thick the patrols are in this area. They are doubling back. Morale is getting dangerously low. Everyone starts screaming, I'm gonna have to deal with it. Uh, 
three minutes. Captain, you sleep. Okay. In case someone has a heart attack or something. Let's go ahead and get the boats. Somebody, somebody has a heart attack because that happens quite frequently. The morale goes all the way down. Go ahead, leave some of the workload. I need everybody on engines right now. Electric operator. Captain. We need to go to sleep. You're not doing anything. Everyone's asleep right now, so morale's going up a lot. We have varied dishes, which helps you yeah, having multiple things to eat. Everyone just needs to take a break. You know what? You get in and run the engine. I'm going to go to sleep. Switch on the engine. Doesn't need a crew, so we just got minimal crew. Everyone is in their bunks. Trying to conserve oxygen. from that orbit before we turn the air thing on as possible. This one's about to go again. Three minutes. There we go. Taylor had a heart attack died. You know, one thing uh, I hope the devs do with this is when you have uh, your advanced time on, if anything happens, pause it or stop it right away so you can deal with it, you know, and instead of just, it, you go on compressed time and it doesn't stop when something like that happens because that could have helped him with the med kit and it just, he just died, so. All right, so carrying on. Let's go ahead and turn on the vent. We're gonna scrub the air, make sure we're good. We're gonna continue to maintain our depth. You know what, can I have somebody cook right now? I need a captain to cook for these guys. Right now. An alarm. Alright, so we're getting the air back in the boat. That's gonna cause noise though. Maybe they don't double back on me. Air is going back up. We're scrubbing the air of all the CO2. is good, no one's doubling back, they're not hearing me coming back. I wonder if I could speed up. I don't the risk of them hearing this, but I want to get out of this situation as soon as possible. Everywhere you can hear 
hear things for miles. So far, so good. We're making it through. Now, if we can just get away from this whole area. I'm pretty, I'm pretty far. I'm getting a little confident here. I'll go for it. I want to get out because I can deal out here in the ocean. I need to clear this area here as soon as possible. I haven't quite switched to diesels yet. Make sure I'm totally out of the area. You know what? Let's go ahead and bring it up to periscope depth. Let's air in the boat. Here we go. So now I got it up with the snorkel. Bells. Snorkel can get up there. Staying submerged. Oxygen's flooding into the boat. Staying on electric. That'll be a patrol craft, maybe. Okay. Patrols weren't that thick. I've seen patrols all over the place coming through the Stranger Bolter. So that wasn't, that was actually not so bad at all. Maybe because it's early stage of the war. I don't know. But it's usually got a lot more coverage in that. But anyway, that's basically how you can get through. Okay, fuels and motors. Increase my speed some here. Storm is causing problems. Well, let's go back to electric. Get out of there. Alright. On the surface, so no one's gonna see us. And we're through. There we go, we made it through, guys. All right. Now the, the next worst thing. Okay, let's go back to diesels. Come on, let's switch to diesels, guys. Why is this guy still so tired still? Been in bed for a while. Oh, there's a transport. enough going up behind it to see if we can see if uh got any guns on it. Oh he's radio. He's got a radio on him. Okay. All stop. Firing a 
Set. T5 on the first one, too. I just don't want him radio in my position. So. Gonna be a big boom. Hopefully we sink it. Be the first kill in the Mediterranean here. Doesn't know we're behind him, so. Twenty seconds. Sekunden bis Einschlag. Here we go. Oh, Dad. Der Aal ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Right there. Has not hear the hear the ship. So I think it's still gonna get it. There it is. Oh no, it's gonna get it. Treffer. <gasps> Feuer an Deck. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Oh, that's a good ways out. Well, good ways out there. Nope. Need to gun it to death or anything. We'll sink. We're still driving. Get you on the deck gun, please. Not you. Captain. Go back to periscope. Or, you go back to deck gun. You, man. Okay, I'll be there in a second. So, anyway, that's how you get through the Strait of Gibraltar. You just gotta be real careful. There's just a couple things you need, and it'll make it a lot easier for you. So, all right, so it's off to the port. I'm gonna go finish off the ship. I'm gonna save it right here. And thanks for watching. If you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe, and I will see you again next time. Thank you. Bye bye.